That cute, cuddly toy you just bought for your child could be spying on your kid, causing a potential security risk. It's such a danger. Both the FBI and the state's attorney general have issued warnings about it. Tonight, Consumer Reporter Steve Sprasia digs into Internet insecurities in the toy box. Toys, they are imaginative and fun, but if they're cutting edge, they could pose a security risk. Take me home and I'll learn your name and some of your favorite things. But hackers could be learning the very same things because some toys are now connected to what's called the Internet of Things. People don't realize that this is, in effect, a computer, right? Yeah, it's basically a form of a smaller computer. And just like a computer, they can be hacked. With anything that's new, uh, they're going to be trying to exploit it in some way. Features and functions of different toys vary widely. They could contain sensors, microphones, cameras, data storage capacity, even GPS location information. With any new technology, a lot of exploits exist. Um, whether it's someone being able to get your GPS data, whether it's people being able to listen in on a device, all those things are valid concerns. Aaron Scheffler has been working with computers for years, but hacking into one of these toys can literally be child's play, as an 11-year-old Texas boy demonstrated. Use Python to do a hex decoder. It took just minutes for Reuben Paul to hack into this toy's Bluetooth. The hacker, anyone who has access to this or is connected to the bear and can play back the message. Keep in mind, when you buy an interactive toy, there's usually no way to update its operating system. Therefore, security exploits might be there for years. As a parent, you need to know how that toy is storing information so you can control its use. Find out if it's storing data on the device, if it's storing your child's voice locally, or if it's submitting it to like a server. So here's what you can do as a parent to protect your kids. First of all, do your research and then make sure that you read all the instructions very carefully. And don't forget to simply Turn off the toy when it's not being used. That way it won't keep collecting information that it sees and hears. I'm Steve Sprasier, CBS, North Carolina.